Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN's Acosta demands Sanders praise. She slaps him with cold reality check instead. The press has had an adversarial relationship with the president since he came into office. Something that has been evident in the White House press briefings every day where reporters clash with White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders over every possible issue ranging from immigration issues at the southern border of the United States and Mexico to freedom of the press and freedom of speech. One of the latest press briefings was rather contentious after a CNN reporter went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sanders over the press being referred to as an enemy of the people. The Daily Caller reported. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was pressed to denounce President Trump's enemy of the people comment about the press. CNN reporter Jim Acosta said that reporters deserve that. Sanders responded by listing the ways that members of the media have been unfair to her in the Trump administration. CNN chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta demanded White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders denounce the president's enemy of the people rhetoric about the media. Sanders responded by listing all of the ways that the media has attacked her during her time in the administration. She declined to say that press is not the enemy of the people. You read off a laundry list of your concerns about the press and what things you feel like are misreported but you did not say that the press is not the enemy of the people, Acosta said during Thursday's press briefing. I think it would be a good thing if you were to say right here at this briefing that the press are not the enemy of the people. I think we deserve that. Sanders called Acosta's question ironic given the media's aggressive rhetoric against her and the president, including MSNBC's Nicole Wallace stating that she wants to wring Sanders' neck. Related, MSNBC's Nicole Wallace suggests wringing Sarah Sanders' neck. I'm the first press secretary in the history of the United States that's required Secret Service protection, Sanders said angrily. The media continues to ratchet up the verbal assault against the president and everyone in this administration and certainly we have a role to play. But the media has a role to play for the discourse in the country as well. Acosta apologized to Sanders for the various attacks, but again asked her to say the press is not the enemy of the people. Sanders replied, I appreciate your passion. I share it. I've addressed this question. I've addressed my personal feelings. I'm here to speak on behalf of the president. He's made his comments clear. The transcript read as follows regarding the exchange. Question, I just wanted to follow up on a. On Sarah's question from NPR. She asked you about Ivanka Trump's statement the press is not the enemy of the people, and she asked you whether or not the press is the enemy of the people. You read off a laundry list of your concerns about the press, and then things that you feel like are misreported. But you did not say that the press is not the enemy of the people, and I, I, I think it would be a good thing if you were to say right here at this briefing that the press, the people who are gathered in this room right now, are doing their jobs every day asking questions of officials like the ones you brought forward earlier, are not the enemy of the people. I, I, I think we, we deserve that. Sanders, I think the president has made his position known. I also think it's ironic. Question, inaudible, you mind telling us, Sarah, if you don't, okay, well, if. Sanders, I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. I, I've politely waited, and I even called on you despite the fact that you interrupted me while calling on your colleague. I said it's ironic. Question, well, you, inaudible, which is why I interrupted. Sanders, I'm trying. Question, but if you, if you finish, if you would not mind letting me have a follow-up, that would be fine, but. Sanders, it's ironic, Jim, PH, that not only you and the media attack the president for his rhetoric, when they frequently lower the level of conversation in this country. Repeatedly. Repeatedly, the media resorts to personal attacks without any content other than to incite anger. The media has attacked me personally on a number of occasions, including your own network, said I should be harassed as a life sentence, that I should be choked. ICE officials are not welcomed in their place of worship, and personal information is shared on the Internet. When I was hosted by the Correspondents Association, of which almost all of you are members of, you brought a comedian up to attack my appearance, and call me a traitor to my own gender. Question, inaudible. Sanders, in fact, as I know, as far as I know, I'm the first press secretary in the history of the United States that's required Secret Service protection. Question, no, that's not what I said. People, inaudible. Sanders, the media continues to ratchet up the verbal assault against the president and everyone in this administration. And certainly, we have a role to play, but the media has a role to play for the discourse in this country, as well. Question, and, and Sarah, if you don't mind, if I, if, hold on. 
Crosstalk. If I may follow up, if I may follow up, excuse me. You did not say in the course of those remarks that you just made, that the press is not the enemy of the people. Are we to take it? From what you just said, we all get put through the ringer. We all get put in the meat grinder in this town, and you're no exception, and I'm sorry that that happened to you. I wish that that, that had not happened. But for, for the sake of this, this room, the people who are in this room, this democracy, this country, all the people around the world are watching what you're saying, Sarah, and the White House for the United States of America, the President of the United States should not refer to us as the enemy of the people. His own daughter acknowledges that, and all I'm asking you to do, Sarah, is to acknowledge that right now and right here. Sanders, I, I, I appreciate your passion. I share it. I've addressed this question. I've addressed my personal feelings. I'm here to speak on behalf of the president. He's made his comments clear. This is not the first time that reporters have clashed with the administration or the press secretary. In numerous press briefings, reporters have attempted to ask several follow-up questions after having already been given one and then proceed to interrupt their colleagues to try and get their questions answers. As a result, reporters like Jim Acosta and April Ryan have had difficult run-ins with press secretary Sanders. This has continued on for some time. Many have blamed the reporters for not doing their job correctly while others have blamed the administration for their policies. Reporters have become especially unruly in recent months since the number of press briefings has decreased. Many have complained that this prohibits them from being able to accurately report on what the administration is doing. While others have said that this is inaccurate, they are still allowed to report, it is just a matter of how much access they are given, which is not something that is legally mandated. In the past, Press Secretary Sanders has insinuated that she has cut back the number of press briefings because those who attend are looking for their 15 minutes of fame instead of answers to their questions and as such she did not want to give them that screen time. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.